fellow creatives, happy doing awesome and welcome back to Soul Studios. And also part two of our toilet paper clay, paper mache sculptures. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to make toilet paper clay. And we're also going to build the characters of our sculptures. Now, I'm going to go put on some old clothes and probably get an apron out of the kitchen. Let's start with the art because there's so much to do and so little time. Let's try this again, shall we? full of water and the toilet roll is um, covered with water and then you leave it for a few minutes and you will see it's getting falling apart the fibers then you take this out because so we much, don't need it how now. much water did you put in i put the water in so that the uh, toilet roll is covered oh, with then. water then you leave it for a few minutes and then what you need to do is press the water out and then kaylee you can give me the Coranda. Then I'm going to put that in there so that the water will go out and while it is in there now you're going to take all the fiber that is going to be loose from the other fiber. Then you put it in a bowl and just take a chunk. Approximately half of the fibers you're going to put in here, a half a toilet roll, so we're going to have half the recipe. Now Noah, uh, you are going to put that inside the bowl now, that's the wood glue. Half of that, you're going to approximately half of that because we're going to have the other half in the other bowl, right? So Kaylee is going to put in some polyfiller, one tablespoon, okay? Right, one tablespoon. Then you are going to put one teaspoon. teaspoon, a little one, you can use this. One teaspoon, it can be half a teaspoon because we need one teaspoon for both. Uh, one yeah, teaspoon so just of baby half, oil. Half, there you go, half, half, half. half of it. Now will you put the mazina in? Yeah, so you can take two teaspoons, I think that will be fine. That's a big teaspoon, look, Amma. Ooh, okay. One is going One to be enough. Okay. Are we ready for the blender? <gasps> yes. The reason why we, we put the, the half of the toilet roll in both one in the one bowl and the other half in the other one is because I don't want the blender to, to suffer. Okay, mm -hmm. now we're going to mix. And if you see it's not moist enough, you just put a little bit of water in. After you've mixed and uh, mm -hmm. you've used the mixer, it must be similar to what I've got here in my Un hand. Unplug it first, Noah. Mm -mm, okay. It needn't have to be dry dry, but if you see it's a little bit too watery, then you only put a little bit of a more mazina. You can take a, a half a teaspoon and uh, sprinkle it on there, and then you work it, work your clay and your mazina inside and squash it. Or white cake flour if you don't or have Or white cake flour if you, if you haven't got, just to get it a bit thicker. It's very crumbly. But um, if you, uh, if you, yeah, but if you put it together like that, you will see it's going to be excellent. Okay. Okay. Now, Alia and Omar is, is making Alia? is making the cat. Donkey. Donkey. Donkey, Omar. She's only two years old, but we are making our cat together. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Now the other 
Een ander oogie, daar is een oogie. Daar is een ander oogie. Daar is hij, maak oogie. But you know what? You can use knives, forks, teaspoons. The back um, of a teaspoon. The back of a teaspoon. You can use um, your fingers to just make marks. In other words, you can build, you can make patterns Oma. on it. Oma. And this is Oma. the most wonderful clay to work with. Oma. Not almost Anna. Huh? So you've decided no. to Oma's build up the Anna. face. In yeah, front. we build up the face. Even if uh, Alia is doing her thing and you want to fix Mama. a little bit, then um, that will be fine. So there's the one eye. It's so so easy and quick. And it doesn't dry too quickly. And it doesn't dry too quickly. It's uh, it gives you time to work with this clay. I'm actually going to make a very funny cat. Mm. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. Kelly, do you want to tell us what you're busy with? So I'm making. Looking woman. What's going on there? <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it was. Were you inspired by Tani Cerise's puppet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like the hair. Mm, I love the hair. Yeah. Have you put on your nose? Oh, and it sticks on quite easily, does it? Mm -hmm. it sticks easily because of the polyfiller and the wood glue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, everybody's having fun. children I wanted to inspire you by showing you a few finished pieces of art I thought it might just spark an idea of what you could do and just show you the possibilities today I'm going to show you um, my aunt Alita's work she's my mom's sister and then tomorrow when we decorate our pieces I wanted to show you um, my aunt Cerise's work and show you what she's been up to so my aunt Alita is an artist She's been making these beautiful angels over the last few weeks. She's made about nine or ten of them. And as she was making her last angel, it just so happened to be in the time that Corona hit South Africa and we were going into lockdown. She made this angel and she decided to call, call her Corona. And I'll show you an image of her just in a second. She has a little mask on. But she was also hit by many emotions, like, like we all were, I'm sure you were too. And she looked at all the figures that she made and she decided she, that she would assign these emotions to each of the angels. These emotions were things like, first, disillusionment, then denial, no, it's not going to come to South Africa, it's far away. And then once it hit South Africa, um, emotions like fear and then acceptance and then after she experienced acceptance came a silence and in that silence she was able to be creative again she was able to gain knowledge of the virus what to do to protect her and her family she was able to draw from her faith in God and through prayer and I can just imagine the fulfillment that she experienced as she um, gave expression to these emotions through her art. So I wanted to encourage you with that. If you're going through emotions, maybe you're frustrated or irritated with your family, why not give expression to it through your arts and um, see if that helps you. Let's have a look. 